Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with my wax picks. Um, so I have my bucket right next to me. I have my coffee. It is like 9 o'clock in the morning. Um, and I'm out of wax so I needed to film this video to start melting some of this stuff. So this is just a bunch of random scents um like i do every two three weeks um it's not fall or anything it's still hot here today it's like gloomy and rainy and muggy so it's crappy out today which i love rainy gloomy days um so yeah i didn't pull fall scents because it is still hot probably for maybe the next month couple weeks i don't know but let's get into it um i pulled some of these silky scents that i just got and because they're like older when she was having that bargain bin sale um so they're ready to go they're all nice and cured so first up we have is wildberry mousse maraschino cherry ice cream whipped cream you know, let me zoom you guys in because last time I did this and like um, it was kind of blurry. So there. All right. This one here is Lucky Charms, Fruit Loops, Cupcakes at Tiffany's. And then we have Lemon Sugar Cookies, Zucchini Bread. I pulled Beach Nights from sassy girl Rome because this is from 2021 and it is like crystallizing on me i don't know if you guys can tell um yeah i don't know if you could see like the it looks like glitter but it's not it's like crystallizing it still smells amazing um and this is kept in a cold dark room so i don't know what this is about yeah, it still smells amazing. I love Beach Night, so I want to melt some of this. Maybe I'll melt that twice in, like, the time that I'm doing these picks to see if I can get rid of it. We have Pineapple Cherry Coconut Snowball, Strawberry Pound Cake, Orange Chiffon Cake, and Buttercream. I have from Little Blue Coop. This is Key Lime Gelato. I don't know why it's not focusing. There we go. Another one here from Silky's. Mango Coconut Milk Thai Sticky Rice. I have like these mystery shapes that I want to get rid of because I don't know. My The scent is not my favorite. It kind of just smells like pink lemonade, so I have these shapes and these in this little bag, so I want to finish all this up because I just don't really care for it that much. Um, from Yummer's Delight, I have Mellow Out. This is buttery, buttered berry pancakes and marshmallow peeps. If you, any, if you hear any noises in the background, it's my cat. He has the zoomies, so... Yeah, you might hear him going crazy in a little bit. I pulled three little samples from Yummers. We have Sugar Cookie, Captain Crunch, and Miss Piggy. I'll probably do these small ones probably in my bedroom. I'll probably mix these together and then do this one maybe probably in my bedroom because this is pretty big, pretty big sample, so we'll see. I have a sample here from Silky's as well. This is Crazy Baby Baby Powder. Um, I don't remember what this smells like. Mm. It smells like it's got some fizzy pops in it. Um, and then I do smell the baby powder, which isn't super strong. Surprisingly, if this does, I believe this does have fizzy pops in it. That smells actually really good. The baby powder and like the citrus fizzy note which is definitely different but it goes really well so i'll definitely melt this in my bathroom because of that baby powder scent um 
not the biggest fan of baby powder but all right we have some here another one from little blue Cloop in fizzy pink lemonade this is just pink lemonade and fizzy pop i love the lemon slice like glitter in there super cute from the pharmacist's daughter we have pineapple cranberry coconut vanilla bean noel and tea and cakes and that is full of energy the scent from silkies we have pistachio pudding cake strawberry jam vanilla ice cream i have a lot from her because she is one of my top vendors she performs very well in my home she is very inexpensive to order from so she is my biggest collection and then i would say second is yummer's delight for sure uh, again, another company that performs really well for me. So I just want to order from vendors, you know, that perform in my home and not just waste my money. Um, so this is Magnolia, Vanilla Bean Noel, Velvet Sugar, and Marshmallow Fluff. I'll probably cut this and probably do it in my bathroom because it is like very body care or maybe my bedroom. We have this cute... Uh, milk bottle here from Yummer's Delight. This is Unicorn Tears, Cotton Candy Frosted Cake, Ice Cream Scoop Bread, and Marshmallow Peeps. And I'll show you guys just in, if you didn't watch that video. This is what it looks like. I love this. So cute. Oh, and it smells so good. I melted her Lucky Charms in this milk bottle shape and it was a fantastic throw. I get really good performance from her if you like I just have to let my stuff cure from her for a while so I mean I do with all my wax um but yeah this smells amazing I love ice cream scoop bread and her cotton candy is probably one of my favorites I want to finish these up so I pulled strawberry jam and sugar cookie royale from L3 I might melt or I might blend these together. Also, toasted pistachio cookies. I haven't tried this yet. It's definitely not a strong pistachio like you would think pistachio pudding cake. It's not like that. It's kind of like a pistachio macaron scent. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a toasty, sweet pistachio. It's not like pistachio pudding cake heavy. Um, it's very toasty you know so I might actually blend all three of these together because pistachio and strawberry goes really well and then I could add that extra bakery sweetness to it so I might actually do that I'll put that over there um I have a little dazzler heart from silkies this is I have this double bag because it's ripped on the side um so this is snow fairy cotton candy I love snow fairy from lush one of my favorite scents let me do some clamshells these are all from walmart and one from goose creek so i have lemon balm and cedar so this is lemon orange ivy neroli jasmine lemon balm sandalwood cedarwood and musk um sorry if i moved you guys i like this one it's definitely citrus heavy and i I guess I get a little bit of a tiny hint of a woody note, but it's mainly like a sweet citrusy scent. So I figured that would be good for, you know, the hot days. And then I have pomegranate and citron. This is pomegranate, citron, pink lady apple, red currant, persimmon, sugar, crystals, violet, and vanilla scent notes. Um, this one is all right. I definitely get the citron it's very harsh citrus in this one it's not as sweet as the other one um, but I do get the pomegranate uh, it's not my favorite I just want to melt this and get rid of it oh it is really raining outside <coughs> excuse me that was very strong um, girlfriend night this is from 2018 for me it is kind of like discolored on the edges a little bit but it still smells amazing i just want to i have another one of these from like last year this to me smells just like a perfume girly sweet very strong and then i have pink flamingo flower 
I usually don't do floral scents because sometimes they give me a headache depending on what it is. But this one I absolutely love for some reason and it doesn't give me a headache. It's a very pretty pink floral. Very sweet. There's definitely some green notes in here. I love this. <clears throat> I believe this is my last one because I did buy two. And I really like that. That's from last year. I want to finish up Blue Hyacinth. I'll probably do this in my bathroom because there are only... Um, three cubes left and you can tell it has discolored it is from 2018 so again it still smells amazing blue hyacinth i love those flowers and then i pulled this before and never melted it i don't know why um because i love this on cold this is sweet tea i have this turned so you don't like i don't blind you with the glare um sweet tea from goose creek this smells amazing. If you're familiar with London Tea and Lemon from Bath & Body Works, this kind of gives that vibe. I would say this is a little less lemony than that candle, but overall this is really nice. So I don't know why I melted, didn't melt it the last time, but we're going to melt it this time for sure. Um, I have from Sassy Girl Aroma here. Matcha green tea lattes. This is herbal green tea leaves balanced by creamy oat milk and matcha powder. To me, I drink matcha all the time. Um, I make it at home. I get it from Starbucks. I talked about it before in a haul um, about how I get my matcha drink from Starbucks. I always add sugar-free vanilla and just like a hint, like one pump of peppermint, and it's amazing. Um, this to me does not smell like matcha at all. I get more of the creamy oat milk. It's, yeah, it's more of a creamy oat milk scent than it is matcha. Um, it's a little touch floral, but yeah, it doesn't smell like matcha green tea to me at all. Matcha has a very distinct scent. Um, Another one here from Silkies that I pulled. This is Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds and Strawberry Pound Cake. This, mm, I like. It's more heavy on the Strawberry Pound Cake right now. When I first smelled it, when I first got it in September of last year, it was definitely heavier on the Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. <clears throat> excuse me. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. One second. Okay, sorry guys, I had to take a drink. My throat was getting irritated from talking. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, this is, it was heavier on the Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds last year, but because it had a long, almost a year cure time, um, I definitely smell more of the strawberry pound cake on this, which I love because I'm really over Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. I never really cared for it to begin with because it has a weird undertone to my nose so I'm glad the strawberry pound cake is stronger in this one um next I have Easter toast I already melted through one of these this is my um one of my winning blends from L3 this is fresh baked bread vanilla frosting cinnamon sugar peeps I feel like people judge this before even getting it um because it does seem like it would be a light you know thrower but I melted my other bag and it was amazing it definitely transforms on warm for sure you get it's like a very sweet cinnamon sugar heavy bakery um it's amazing like I said it's a little bit lighter on cold but man when it warms it's amazing so another one from L3, this is sea salt, caramel, pretzel, zucchini bread, pink frost, and animal cookies. I can't remember who created this blend, um, but this smells amazing. It's a very heavy, thick, sweet caramel scent. You definitely pick up the salty pretzel. So good for, I might melt this today actually because it is like, gloomy and rainy and I usually go for like super heavy bakery on gloomy scents I mean I always go for bakery but 
All right, we have some from With Envy. These two I did get in a de-stash in that haul that I showed you guys. This is Strawberry Birthday Cake. I love these little cake shapes. Like, they actually look like little cake slices. And this smells... Oh, my gosh. Ugh. Her strawberry, I love. Um, I want her to come back. I say this in, like, every video if I have something of hers. I just want her to come back. I hope she does. And next is hot cocoa. I was debating on saving this for like Christmas time, but there are some days when I just want to smell chocolate and I'm not a huge chocolate fanatic in wax. It has to be, it can't be like Tootsie Roll-esque and this one isn't. It's like a sweet kind of milk chocolatey scent. So if I'm craving chocolate one day, I'll pop this in. Um, you know, and then another one. This was her last opening that she had in February. So again, I don't know. I wish she would update, but this is last first kiss. Apples, sugar cookies, a violet blush. This is beautiful. Oh, I'm not a huge apple person. This is amazing. You definitely get the apple. It's body care and sweet love it so much um, we have a couple here from vintage chic scents this is ready for it fruit loops yellow cake and rich sugar cookies i actually don't have much vintage chic scents left because i sold a lot of her stuff because it just doesn't perform in my house so we'll try these two scents being they are pretty strong scent oils fruit loops you know is a very strong scent oil and so is laundry so this is sugar spun suds fresh laundry blended with sweet spun sugar and fluffy marshmallows again this smells amazing very very sweet laundry pop that over there getting down to it we got three things left um, from that smell good shop this is truly madly sweetly sweet pastry lemon custard and icing um this is so good. That lemon custard, oh, it's like a sweet confectionery, like sweet lemon powdered sugar dusted cookies. Like those, I don't know if you guys know those lemon cres like crescent cookies with the powdered sugar. That's what this smells like. Um, me and my mom used to eat those all the time when I was younger. Um, I don't know if they still sell them. It's like a lemon flavored cookie that's shaped like a crescent moon. And then it's got powdered sugar on it. Yeah. I don't know if they still sell them, but this is what it smells like. It's so good. I need more of this for sure. Um, this is really strong on cold, so. And I love the ombre. That smell good shop. She always comes through. Like her wax is so strong in my house. We have another one from the pharmacist's daughter. This is soft and sultry, which is black currant vanilla, van black currant vanilla and boardwalk marshmallow clouds. Again, another boardwalk marshmallow clouds. And this one is kind of weird. And I notice when did I get this? I know I got it this year. Um, I don't know if her wax ages like badly but I got this I want to say March or April of this year and it's already discoloring um and like I said I store my wax in a cool dark area cool dry dark area I don't know it's not a big issue but it still it smells good um not my favorite and then last but not least we have my last bag from Lurid Apothecary, I sold this collection, except this one. Um, I tried some pieces and it did not throw for me. So I saved this one because I love it. One of my favorites on cold. So this is Gryffindor, Elderberry Jam, and Cornbread Muffins. This is very, very strong on cold. So I'm excited to melt this, hopefully. I hope this performs. I think it will because of the strength. 
So yeah, that is all for my wax picks. Sorry I talk so long. I feel like I went into detail about these, which I normally don't do because I do that in my hauls. But anyway, <laughs> I'm going to end this video here because again, I did talk too much. But thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.